okay now we want to try to see if we can change the design so that uh, this um, local deflection can be reduced uh, first of all we are going to display the entire model by clicking on uh, restore all button and closing this now we are going to increase the number of ribs to see if we can if increasing the number of ribs can reduce this local buckling um, to do that what what we can do is we can simply go to our parameters so here we have a number of ribs parameter current number of ribs is six what we are going to do is double click on that and it will bring us to our model i'm going to hide the um, femrep for a minute to change the number of uh, ribs and show that so let us change the number of ribs to 10 okay <clears throat> it will automatically update the entire model so we have 10 ribs now if i show the uh, mesh it's still six ribs right uh, in the mesh but when we let me do that let me hide the skin mesh to show the number of ribs so here this is the previous ribs mesh and it is not aligned with the 10 ribs so but if we now do the simulation again run the simulation again it will automatically update the mesh it will automatically update the loads boundary conditions any um, interactions and so on we don't have to do any manual work that's the beauty of uh, this method so i'm going to um, go to the setup and go to the scenario and run the simulation again okay so you notice here that uh, the platform is now automatically generating the meshes and updating all the model data and once the entire model data is complete the generation of meshes is complete it will automatically run the simulation and display the results so we see that we do not need to export the geometry from other CAD packages we do not need to import it back and we do not need to do manual remeshing we do not need to do manual preparation of models anymore all that is being automated on the platform so also notice that the value of simulation right with the simulation we can see the local buckling on the wings and uh, we can see the details of stresses and strains and so on also we can see the details of these things inside the model the detail of what we can look at inside of the loaded assembly is far greater than what can be achieved through physical test Thus, we can gain a deep understanding of how the product works. So, after about five minutes, our structural analysis is complete. We can close this dialog box and we can plot our results. Now, for the tip deflection, we see that the tip lift deflection is 7.4 millimeter which is higher than our tip maximum tip deflection constraint of 5 millimeter but in this case we try to reduce the wing deflection it seems like the local wing uh, deflection has reduced and we are going to use our uh, procedure again to use the display groups and use our left wing group And now notice that our wing deflection its maximum is 1.93 millimeter in this region 
and this is less than three millimeter allowed now if we go back to our entire model and we want to also reduce uh, wing tip deflection the uav is a little bit flexible so we have higher wing tip deflection than allowable we can reduce that by making the model stiffer and one way to do so is to increase the thickness of entire model i'm going to demonstrate that because we also have a thickness parameter and using that parameter we can change the thickness of entire uav okay so we double click on that and we increase the thickness from 1.5 millimeter to 2.5 millimeter okay now we can update our model the entire model is up to date and now we are going to go to the scenario and we will rerun the simulation uh, on the simulate tab now rather than overwriting previous results we can say that keep previous results okay so that um, we can see that previous results were with 1.5 millimeter thickness so this is just a note for us and then once we say okay it will start running the model again while this simulation is running what we notice that we are trying to use the thickness that would be sufficient to meet product requirements but will not increase material cost unnecessarily so simulation can help us reduce the cost of each manufactured part through the optimized use of materials or through more elegant designs okay the um, analysis is complete this model took only about two minutes to complete now what we see is the tip deflection is 2.4 millimeter so not only we have eliminated or considerably reduced the deflection in the wings the local buckling we have also reduced significantly the maximum tip winglet tip deflection so we have met both the constraints of uh, the maximum wing deflection as well as maximum winglet tip deflection also i'd like to point out that uh, we have uh, the results uh, displayed here but we also have the previous results which can be seen by going to the previous results tab and we can click on those also to um, show the previous results which was um, 7.4 millimeter um, maximum uh, winglet tip deflection.